Hello friends, this is Professor T.B. Ugly, working as a system professor at the Department of Agriculture and Technology at KK Bar College of Agriculture Biotechnology. Today we will go through the our new topic that is storage in place and their management. Uh, students, this, uh, this video is prepared for the academic purpose, not for the commercial purpose, so find note, take a note of this. Storage in paste, these are the uh, paste which feeds on the store products like uh, maybe grains, maybe our uh, other material, either the processed material with uh, that healthy powder or the suji or rava. So this is called as the store organic paste. A uh, primary each is classified into two different types of the paste. First is the primary paste. They cause the damage to the sound grain or whole grain. It's classified into two groups: internal feeders and external feeders. In internal feeder, larva or grub feeds on the entirely within the kernel or, or grain or stored material. In the external feeder, larvae and adult feed on the grain from the outside. So this is the basic difference between the primary paste, internal and external feeder. The secondary paste that feeds on the broken grains or the meal products or the uh, grains part, uh, the secondary uh, particles which is made by the primary paste is being consumed by the secondary paste. Another one is this C, uh, non-insect paste like mites is, and rats is called as the non-insect paste. Primary paste, internal feeders, larvae and grub feeds entirely within the kernel or grain or stored material. For example, so the example is the common rice with scientific cutipress oryzae, family colonidae or colyptera. Mostly these are from the colyptera except the angulus grain moth, that is Citroga cerella is from the DTD family from the lepidoptera order. The other the pulsatile laser grain border granary weevil are from the colyptera and having great damage and internal feeder on the grain. Rice weevil, citrus over IC, natural damage destructive to wheat, corn, rice, jowar in the grubs and others bore into the grains and uh, cause damage by making the unfit for the consumption when the powder like material is being um, rest, uh, is found there. There so it is uh, uneasy to uh, ineffective or non-effective for the, for the consumption. Every position on the single on the grain and preparation inside the uh, in here picture you can see the how the grub is, go, uh, grub is going for the preparation and it be inside in the developing grain this in top this is the adult close view of the rice will be adult granary weevil this tephalus granaris from the colonial family called outer collectera they are destructive to the wheat corn rice java grub and adult bore into the grains and cause the damage making them unfit for the consumption even the uh, it having great damage to other grains also in the even many kerana shop this kind of uh, will can be observed easily oil position singly on the grain preparation inside the grain this is the pictorial presentation of this granary <coughs> this is a laser grain borer isopartha dominica it uh, somehow having the broad of head structure it is the important taste of the whole series both larvae and adults bore into the grains and feed on it and damage grain saddled mostly treatment the attacks the ger germs and it for unfit for the consumption. Besides the whole grain it can be developed on the milk rice and cereal floors but not on highly polished rice. It is a few pound feed on dried cassava and many pulses. Oil position on the grains or walls or bags and devices of the corals. Preparation either inside the or outside the grain. Pulsivitum, Calus butcher chinensis. This paste is found in both feed and uh, water also. A particular slow emerge shows the emergence of the holes from the bitters as well as the mind to evite egg adding to the seed coat it can be observed. The grub feed on the inner content of the pulses and pipette inside them and emerge out by cutting the circular holes in the grain. So life history, oil position, life history, oil position singly laid on the grain, preparation inside the grain. Anginous grain moth, Citroga cerella, this is the, from the Lepidoptera. Small uh, adults can be observed in even our household activity. So, in our godowns, it attacks the ripening grain uh, in the standing crop and the grains in the storage. So, caterpillars feeds on the internal content of the grains and prepare inside the grain by making webbing. So, we position on or near the grains singly or in batches, and preparation on the cavity of the grains. External feeders, the larvae and adult feeds on the grain from the outside. The capra beetle, 
Tokodo Makanadi, Indian Mint Moth, that is the Prodigy Enter Punchuta, Pice Moth, Corpora Sapolinka, Fig Moth, if it is Cotilla. Mostly these are from the Lepotera, only the Capra Bitter is from the Lepotera. Capra Bitter, Tokodo Makanadi is the Broad Bitter, while uh, uh, the grub is typically very hairy with the feed on the grain by making the unsuitable for the consumption. Oil position on a grain, depression on ages of the in God of the Indian mid moth, Claudia in Pamchela. This is from the Lepoptera. Same as the grain, English grain moth. It looks like the very small minor moth. The larvae feeds on the germ portion of the feet. During the process, the tubular weaving is formed by the by it either on the bags or on the bulb of, uh, of the food mutter. In the serious case, the bag is out floating, is completely covered with the silken sheet. Life history on the food material, efficient silicon compost attached to the bags, mostly the margins of the bags, each bag having a number of pupa which added to the, this uh, bag material. Rice moth, this is a very popular corpora saponica, which is a major pest of the rice and wheat. Mostly all types of the grains is being consumed by this uh, adult. Evolution on bags or walls of the godons, even preparation inside the silicon galleries in the waves. This is very particular uh, in type of insect which can be used uh, to for the production of the corpora uh, for the production of the Trichoderma japonicum, Trichoderma shimnus, uh, parasitized as a host stage of this corpora sepum and used for the parasitize on the trichocard. It is very popular to, as a term as a factious host, factious means. And the serrating and its multiplication is very easy in laboratory. Fourth one is the fig moth, Aphistia uh, cotilla from Lepidoptera. The larvae feeds on the dried fruits such as the dried apples, dried dates, berries, fig, so on, also cereals and the products. Even the uh, raisins can be consumed by this fig moth. The caterpillar waves the grains and feeds on them. Life history, inferens and crevices, the receptacles from the food star even preparation inside the infected food material. So this is the uh, primary secondary test. The secondary test feeds on the broken grains, milk products, uh, red rest flour beetles, uh, sour cooked grain beetle, long headed flour beetle, flat grain beetle, scissorin beetle. Most all these are from the polyptera order. They feed on the broken grains. Tribulum castor, the is rusted flour beetle from the polyptera. Nature of damage. The larvae and adults feed on the wide range of durable commodities and are the important secondary pest of the cereals having the preference for the embryo. It is attacked to store again stored ground nuts, nuts, spices, coffee, coca, dried fruits, and the occasionally peas and beans infestation leads to the persistent <coughs> and disagreeable odor is found in the commodity due to secretion of the benzoquinones from the pair of abdominal defensive glands. It is a particular characteristic to secret such type of metabolites for the uh, control um, for the secretion of this type of uh, material. Oil position on the single on the grain, preparation inside the grain is observed in the red rest flour beetle, sawtooth grain beetle. Here the as name indicate it having the um, sawtooth like uh, mouth parts. It uh, mostly feeds on the uh, rava or maida which is very uh, having very great damage to the, the offensive odor the damaged grains are attacked by the adults with the excessive infestation of the paste on the food products makes the unpalatable unsuitable even some cases the food processed food material also having the bad taste it, uh, it may be refused by the it may be refused by the customer uh, when the product is prepared and repaired. Another one is the uh, cigarette bitter, Lacederma sorricor. This is the grape and bitter, adult feeds on both into the whole of the tobacco product, which is uh, at the port, which is ready to for the ship uh, for the shipment. When they can feed within it, in the life history, oil position on the surface products, preparation may be in the inside the packed products. Non insect paste like mites and rats, the trilogus mites and acaris zero mites species and 
writers, 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 knowledgeous, many of writers has feed on the story and place. The minds is having the uh, very active in uh, the gel damage, hand capacity damage, gel portion of the bit. And when present in a large number, they can promote the sweating and impart the oxygen and smell on the grains. And besides that, it also cause the damage to their feeding indirectly and directly to the uh, process parts. Products, the mammalia or rodentia and immunity. There are some several species which can be uh, observed during the god of stratus, stratus, mus musculus, stratus, neurologicus, bandicota bengalensis, bandicota indica. These are the five number of species of the rat which can observe the around the grains. This is the house rat or black rat, stratus, stratus, family moridae, order rodentia or class mammalia. This is the house mouth, this mus musculus, moridae family. This is the drain thread or brown thread having the long tail, Rattus norvegicus. This is the uh, Bandicota bengalensis. This is the having very uh, puffy hairs and uh, broad tail. It is the large Bandicota having the circular ears, Bandicota indica. Natural damage, the rat cause heavy damage to store products. The daily consumption rate right about 10 grams per grain, grams per adult and even the hundred rat excluding their pro progeny can damage the about one ton grains per year life cycle rat produces six, six, six to twelve young ones in every three months the newly born are blind and without hairs it takes nearly about 20 days for the eyes to develop and coat the hairs to form the rat development is extremely rapid and grow one gram per at the rate of gram per day feeding only on milk of the mother after 21 days they sneak out with the mother and alone, living alone. In about six months, their rats are mature and again start to breeding. May live for three, three to five years. Cow's rat, the ratus ratus will always prefer cotton and waste paper pieces for the bedding to lay young ones. Other rats will lay young ones inside the nest of the burrows or in the grass nest. Management of the practices for the rodents, mechanical control with the hunting is a very uh, popular and effective way in the field trapping with the rats with the many of traps uh, with the attack to the food and the any poison baiting can be done flooding is also very important practice in the burrows is filled with the water and the rat can be controlled easily with by killing them in the burrow or uh, and they can run away from the burrow guarding by the rodent proof material like tin material or the some another material for the godowns can be used for the guarding the rodent uh, ground, guarding the rodent with, from the rodent. Electronic rodent retreat are also available with ultrasonic sound waves can be produced to repel the rats and mice from the rodent. Sound frequency about 20 kilohertz prevents the rats from the feeding and reproducing. Uh, the chemical control poisoning. The chemical used for the control of rodents is called as the rodenticide and the uh, they includes the zinc phosphate, very popular rodent decide used in uh, everywhere. The it is the chronic rodent decide and uh, having capacity to kill the uh, kill the rat very effectively. It is a black atmosphere, uh, black amorphous poisonous powder, and having the garlic like odor. It involves evolves the phosphine gas when it contact come in contact with the hydrochloric acid inside the uh, stomach of the rat even it can be used with uh, the poison bait with ratio of two parts of zinc phosphate with uh, six, 96 parts of the food base and uh, three uh, two parts of the sweet oil that have to attract these uh, attract this uh, right uh, this rat for uh, the control effectively even the this uh, kids having capacity to kill the rat within uh, three hours after the feeding requires two to three days pre baiting with the plain bait as a it have to attract the uh, proper uh, stage of the adult of the rat for the feeding. Our offering is also known as an anticoagulant type of protein decide. It is available in market as by the brand name Rodafrain. See it causes internal hemorrhage and it stops secretion of the prothrombin that is a hormone 
in this case privating is not required the ready-made warfare bits can be uh, put which is available at, at different shops the rats go eating and bleeding the death it takes come in minimum four days at the concentration point 0.025 percent it is a chronic rodent decide alum phosphate it is acute poison used for uh, used for the for fumigation of the rat burrow it is sold as a cell post tablet the 0.5 percent could be dropped into the burrowing opening and holes closed by the wet mud the tablets in contact with the moisture liberate the phosphine gas that kills the rat bromodialan this is anticoagulant rodent decide available in the market with ready to use bait name the robon or mushmush rat get killed in a single dose by showing the active toxicity there are several natural enemies like predator snakes holes even the cats dogs are can contribute having the contribution naturally to regulate this rat population so this is about the control the rat these are the some market uh, products available in the field cell for warfare in the bromodial and the rat of these are the some poison bait that are already available in the market which is very easy to handle and having very great effect on the rat product. so the story and paste the source of infestation should be avoided the following are the main source of the infestation feed infestation paste like percentile rice will be in the green moth lays egg in egg on the grains in the fields so infestation should be removed from the field or it should be noticed very carefully in the field Cross infestation through the old bags, go down trucks, bullock cars, even the persons who, who handle these uh, go down material is having the capacity for the cross infestation. Even the empty bag should be uh, fumigated very carefully. Even the uh, some go down cracks or crevices having the different uh, the carrier stage of the storage and paste. So it should be. Uh, uh, observed carefully before the placing the grain for the storage control measures the preventive measures can be undertaken to protect the fresh stock of the grains from the attack of the pest it may be by um, preventing the entry of the infested material to the water or it should be uh, the some precautionary quarantine measures to be adopted in the feed and as well as in the water curative measures the measures employed to control the pest when infestation notice in the grains so this is also very important the preventive measures can be like this and drying moisture content should not should be below 8 percent it avoids the attack of the insect paste threshing yard away from the granaries and should be clean at time to time it is very essential to reduce the moisture content of the grains by sun drying over the, the cemented floor mixing of the inner dust like in many village farmers the inner dust is the clay ash is used uh, in the mixing in the grains which causes physical injury to insect bagging the paste free many bags for the storage or if they expose the bags to the sunlight for a longer period of it, it uh, having created the damage to the eggs of the hibernating stages like narvi or pipa on the over the bags if it is not possible the old bag should be fumigated with a treat with 0.1 percent marathon or ddbp solution to avoid the cross infestation Water hygiene or cracks and crevices and holes existing in the floor should be closed with the cement. Even some chemicals should be spread, like 0.1% melatonin should be this spread on the walls and the floor of the water. Even the all red burrows should be closed with the cement, should be whitewashed to avoid the uh, pre a pre laid a surface on the wall of the water. It uh, care should be taken by the story the protect the grains from the moisture damage and which usually occurs at the bottom layers of the bag due to the seepage of the water from the floor. The wooden crate drainage is necessary. It helps free circulation of the air and prevent losses due to the moisture accumulation. Proper stock stacking of the bag is necessary and treatment of the gunny bags should be there before the storage of the uh, store in material. So this kind of uh, care should be taken in prevention. Small scale storage can be uh, it's a one of the solution in the curative measures. Fuse and grains and remove different stages of the paste. The like adult stage can be removed easily. Large scale storage, the fumigation can be adapted with uh, some chemical like ethyl dibromide, EDB, aluminum phosphate, zinc phosphate, anticoagulant type of rodent decide can be used. So 
and term method of the fumigation can be helps, uh, can be in undertaken even the uh, large scale fumigation can be adopted with the help of the pla covering the plastic covering the sticks with the plastic uh, material and the fumigation with the iron phosphate can be possible which prevents the entry and the it also help to kill the all the hibernating stages of the pest within the steak so these are some methodologies can be adopted for the management of the storing in pest so thank you for kind attention in the uh, this session that is the pest of storage and their management this video is prepared for the academic purpose not for the commercial purpose so thank you for being with us